Hey guys, Professor Bell Comic Book University and Red Hood Outlaw issue number 34. Love-hate relationship with this one. Actually, neither emotion was really that extreme. It was more like a like-dislike moment with the book. Let me get into who made the book and then we'll talk a little bit about it. Uh, Prince of Gotham Part 3, Scott Lobdell does the words, Pete Woods does the pictures, uh, Rex Locus on colors, ALW's Troy Pateri on uh, letters and Cully Hamner doing the cover with Yasmin Putri doing the variant cover. All right. So basically, the, the, well, the story starts off with this weird thing with him having this all sword and killing this behemoth thing and stuff. And I don't know what that's from. I, 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 do, I have no idea what the frick that is from. Um, I feel like this is something I should have read, but I haven't read. So what was that like in the beginning of this book? Like, we don't have a single look, 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 look. We don't have anything in the beginning of this book telling us, well, lately, this is what's been happening, and over here is what's been happening in this story arc. No, they don't have that. Um, and so you got to come into this book blind. If this is the first time you're ever reading this book, you're not going to buy issue number two, because you have no freaking idea what the hell's going on. So then what happens? Then, as certain things happen in this book that are clearly a reference to something else, is there a single narrator's box or editor's box saying, hey, guess what? This happened in issue number blah, 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 blah of whatever book. No, not a single time. So I'm literally like, okay, something happened here. Uh, not only do I not know what happened, I can't even look up the book to see what's up because, you know, screw all of us, right? This book could have been a lot better just with those two things added. The bit in the beginning and a little bit, you know, like just a blurb, for crying out loud. And then the um, the references to where this story happened, where this took place, what book, so that I can consider going back and grabbing that book or that trade paperback and making you even more money. But no, no, doesn't seem like you're interested in that. That's a shame. That's a real freaking shame. Uh, as far as the second half of this book, for the most part, wow. Jason Todd, well, I have no idea why he was in this, you know, why he's in Paris. I have no idea why he, he walks into Paris and he says, hola. Like, dude, what are you, Wonder Woman? Like, Wonder Woman says hola. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, like what, are you, what are you doing? What is this? What's this hola nonsense? Anyway, uh, I do like how he was able to turn the tables on all these bad guys, even though a lot of them were really silly. I, I liked it. <laughs> like, it. It just felt like one of those moments where it's like, you know, you think that you got all the cards. Turns out, <laughs> all you got is the freaking instructions for how to play cards. I have all the cards, mother fathead. <laughs> like, that was great. I loved that. This was, a, the, you know, like, I'm glad that the, the second part of this book was in fact the second part of this book because I was lost with everything else. Plus, it looks like we are going to have the Penguin coming out soon. And, um, yeah, they're, they're going to be doing this thing with uh, Batwing pretty soon. Batwing versus uh, Nightwing at some point, which I don't really care for at all. I don't want to see that. I have zero interest in that whatsoever. But that's about to happen in July. If you saw my On the Horizon um, uh, solicits for July. Not really interested in that. Just there's too many characters. That's the problem I have with this book. There are too many characters that I don't know who they are. And they've all got their little personalities and maybe they're being expressed well. Maybe they're not. I don't know because I don't know who these people are. Keeps coming back to that, right? I don't know anything about the book. I don't know anything about what happened before in the book. I don't understand where such and such story came from. And I don't know who these people are in the book. So I don't know why Jason Todd is in this one per particular part of the world in this book. There's too many unknown factors right now. And I think that the John Byrne uh, analogy is extremely important for Scott Lobdell or whoever to remember in regards to this book, this title. Every single comic book is somebody's first comic book. And if the issue you make is not good for a new reader, then it's simply not good. And don't know what else to tell you about that. Anyway, guys, I'm hoping that the book starts to make a little bit more sense and have more characters in here that I, that I understand and know who they are, besides just Red Hood and the, you know, the not really used Penguin, because, yeah. Anyway, Professor Bill, Comic Book University, class dismissed.